We had struggled for quite a while just to get pregnant um, for about a year and a half. And so to be pregnant was just amazing. We were so elated. We get to the 28th week of pregnancy right about midnight. I just started to have the weird pressure feelings. At that point, I didn't have any concerns, any worries. It was our first child. I didn't know what to expect. And then everything changed as soon as we got to the hospital. They checked to see how dilated she was, and then all of a sudden, nurses and doctors flying around. We were just in a whirlwind, because we went from me walking the dog at eight o'clock that night to giving birth to our, you know, two pound, 28 week baby at 4.11 that morning. You know, I, I couldn't fathom the, the fact that we could have a 28 week old child. A cardiologist came in and said, you know, that they had detected, you know, a, a severe murmur and, you know, we're going to run a lot of different tests on her. We found out she had bicuspid valve, severe aortic stenosis and was really struggling. You could tell even in our shock that, you know, there was not a lot of hope. She was just getting more critical by the day. We were looking for the best care for our child. No baby had ever survived anything like this. We pretty much just had to have the conversation with them that we don't feel like you can do it. You need to get on the phone right now and go find someone in this country that can take on a two and a half pound baby that needs to be intervened on today. Coming to Texas Children's, they had other ideas. I knew, I just had the feeling that we were exactly where we were supposed to be. All the chiefs of the hospital, of all the different departments, I mean, it was the, the brains of brains when it comes to medicine, all meeting for our daughter. What really brought us here was the idea of doing it through catheterization, because we knew that open heart surgery was probably not gonna be an option. They sat us down and explained to us that her, her femoral arteries, which they would normally go through, were way too small. Um, they were smaller than the, the size of a spaghetti noodle. Dr. Justina was gonna do a carotid artery cut down, where they actually cut down to the carotid artery, make an incision, and it can be very dangerous. The first surgery, I was still in such shock. When your child is going through a, a major surgery like that, you can't breathe, you can't think, you, it's, it's surreal. For the first time anywhere in the world, he was able to go in without making any incisions whatsoever, insert the catheter into carotid artery, do the ballooning and insert a stent into aorta with nothing more than a pinprick and a Band-Aid. To be able to be that innovative and knowing that the doctors just perform miracles that have never, nobody's ever done before is absolutely the best feeling in the entire world. My wife and I have to remind ourselves she's a normal little girl now. Very bright, normal, energetic, wild little girl. Our whole experience here from the NICU to the CVICU nurses and doctors and just everyone that we've ever dealt with. They really just help you through something that is so mind-boggling and so difficult to get through. They're absolutely amazing and to, to us, they are our family. We love this hospital. This is where you want to be. It's the best of the best. It's just been fantastic.